So I'm down just by Waterloo, walking towards South Bank for an event that we're going to. It's 8 a.m. I don't know why they're doing it at 8 in the morning, but hopefully we'll find out when we get there. I hope there's a reason, like they're using sundials or something. It's for Honest Tea, and it's at the observation point on the Thames, so it should be wicked. I think they've built a big dome and stuff, and what they're doing is trying to encourage people to use urban spaces to grow more fruit, vegetable and plants. I think they've got Julia Bradbury presenting and that busking chef who makes amazing food and asks people how much they want to pay for it. He's got a wicked YouTube channel and I'll link to it below. Uh, and while I'm talking about that, make sure you subscribe. I'm a television presenter. We're all here today because we're passionate about green spaces, organic food, recycling and reconnecting with nature. And especially being able to do that sometimes in smaller spaces. Small spaces, small green spaces, community gardens, even window boxes are incredibly important to all of us uh, to help us connect with nature and actually lead happier, healthier lives. People who live in urban areas, a few stats, <laughs> Um, are 38% more likely to develop a mental illness. Honest are here today because it's an organic herbal fruit drink uh, created by Seth Goldman in his kitchen quite famously because he wanted a low calorie, thirst quenching drink that had just a lovely fruity or a bit of flavour to it other than water. The brand is certified by the Soil Association and the bottles are made from plant bottles. Another stat, by 2050 it's estimated that the ocean is going to be more full of plastic than it is going to be full of marine life, which is a quite scary statistic and something that we all have to address. What are you doing uh, here, okay. and so what can we do? What we're going to make is a coffee flower granola. Uh, granola, perfect for breakfast, and you can just throw all these ingredients together, because essentially what you're doing is that you're toasting everything off, and then the egg whites <laughs> Together. So we've got about like 125 mils of honey. We've got a nice chunk of uh, coconut oil. I'm going to put that into my bowl. Granola's about what you like, what mm -hmm. vibe, what crunch, what different so taste. Can I choose? Go for it. Definitely some uh, uh, pumpkin seeds. Almonds for sure. Yeah, some walnuts because they're very good for you. Chia. Chia seeds. Chia. Chia. Sesame seeds. I don't like to overdo it on the coconut. People, yeah, people put too much coconut in everything. <laughs> Uh, some oats. And then now we need to go heavy on the oats. We do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole, the whole lot? Pretty much. Pretty much, okay. Okay, so you add all of that in. How salt, quick pinch is salt. This? Pinch of salt. And you've, we've got a pinch of salt in there. And then we've melted the honey. We've brought the coconut all together. You've got a pinch of salt in there. So, we just, yeah. so they're going to go in at the end. Okay. So we just pour that in. And then we just incorporate all those ingredients. And what you're oh, looking for already. is like a... 
it's like a, a, a sticky mess, basically. So, you know, just bring that together, and it just starts clumping all together, and, and that's the sort of vibe that you're looking for. Okay, so that's the one that we've just done. We'll put this one in as well. So then um, we would put, so you can just chop some of this up. Um, you can put them in however you want, but you just sprinkle those in. We've got some fruit in here already. But what's good about this is this is a healthier way to sweeten what you're doing. And then you've got sour cherries. You can put whatever you want in there. Try it and just oh God, see how no, it feels. Oh, God, I'm taking it round. Hang on a sec. Here, give me your... You got yeah, it? Yeah, give me that. And we've got a load here so right. that you can try yeah. that with it later go. as well. Yeah, taste. I'll make mistakes along the way. I call it lemonade. Finished article. Looks good. The plant's a little big, but show me yours. Hold it up. Amazing. They look great. Beautiful. I think yours is a bit prettier and more elegant than mine is. That was a wicked event. All about urban spaces and gardening and looking after things and recycling and how to make things and upcycle. I really enjoyed it. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Great event, and right on South Bank, literally overlooking the Thames. Beautiful place to be on a sunny day like this. And I made a thing. I made that. Don't know what it is really, but it's nice. And I go home with a plant. That was a really cool little event. I love people trying to grow more stuff and grow their own veg and fruits and things and plant. And they're trying to get everyone to grow more things in urban places. So in your house, on window boxes, those are just wherever you can grow as much stuff as possible. And there's even initiatives growing things on the tube, on the underground. It was brilliant. Really enjoyed it. Follow the plant pots. Follow the plant pots. Follow the plant pots.